Hey guys, so I just quickly want to make a second video about this rumored HTC SATA phone uh, Because I think there's some stuff that I didn't say in that video that uh, after I've been reading some some you know comments about this and um, Just uh, been thinking about this uh, some things that I didn't really say in that video um, so first of all um, Are we gonna get quad core smartphones next year? Uh, that's a good question actually because we haven't got anything like confirmed yet only the first like quad core rumored smartphones that's been leaked is this HTC Edge and the HTC SATA and they were from HTC same company um, and also it could it could just be prototypes or some sort of you know things like that uh, so don't get too hyped that we're gonna see quad core smartphones next year what we do can see here is that we're obviously gonna get quad core tablets next year and me even get one this year from Lenovo uh, this Christmas uh, I made a video about the tablet we've also been seeing tablets rumored to come from other you know companies also like HTC uh, be presented hopefully at the MVC Mobile World Congress in Barcelona in February uh, but tablets and also we have the Asus ePad transformer tablet we do know that we're gonna get quad core tablets next year but there is a difference between tablets and smartphones because you may say well if we're gonna get quad core tablets next year then we must get quad core smartphones well you gotta you gotta think a little bit about this that phones are smaller okay it's a different form factor you need to make things thinner and lighter and stuff like that because people are gonna have this device in their pocket and I'm not really sure if we're gonna get quad core smartphones next year uh, feels really like it could be a too big jump yet uh, like going from 1.2 gigahertz to like 1.5 gigahertz dual core to immediately quad core 2.5 quad core 2 gigahertz uh, sure it's possible and the HTC Edge it it, it, it was uh, it, it had a 1.6 gigahertz quad core that's also sound a little bit uh, closer to the reality here um, so uh, I'm a little skeptical about these specs uh, 2.5 gigahertz quad core uh, but hey if we think about it a little bit we do know that uh, you know these XDA developers and teams uh, have been able to overclock Samsung Galaxy S2 from 1.2 uh, to 1.8, and that's um, that's kind of insane. That that's almost two gigahertz dual core. So um, I mean, if they almost could get it to two gigahertz dual core, um, I really think that the possibility there with the quad core uh, 2.5. Um, you may be able to clock that up. Let's say they are releasing the phone, uh, two gigahertz quad core. Uh, people will probably be able to overclock it to 2.5. Um, and if this uh, HC Edge, uh, as I do think, is closer to reality, 1.6 gigahertz quad core, uh, then people will probably be able to clock that to 2.2, maybe. Uh, hopefully, two gigahertz quad core. And I know it's not all about the specs, but it sounds kind of cool and the thing that they are uh, increasing the performance uh, but they are lowering the battery consumption in consumption so just because you have more cores doesn't mean it's gonna take more battery um, and I've been talking about this with ARM's little you know new technology called big and little pro processing um, so they're using one processor when you're doing you know tasks that doesn't require that much battery so you won't drain um, things uh, when you don't use it and then when you use like gaming stuff like that then you will have the full experience but uh, many times we only do small stuff like texting and checking Facebook and browsing and stuff like that and then we don't need all the processing power but I'm really skeptical to 2.5 gigahertz quad core next year I'm really skeptical to see that in phones um, but uh, that we could get a quad core smartphone next year I would say that that's uh, around 60 to 70 percent that we're gonna see a quad core smartphone next year that doesn't mean that it's a good phone 
uh, but that some guy release a crazy prototype or something like that or if this HZH is true and if this HZ Zeta is true then that's going to be kind of nice. You should also remember that these renderings uh, seems to be kind of, you know, it's it's only renderings, probably not going to look like this. Uh, there was some guy that was looking here uh, on the dimensions that they were putting out here that they weren't true and that they can't look like this have uh, this uh, of a design with these uh, measurements um, so only a prototype probably and I don't think it's gonna look like this if it's gonna look like this then it's gonna be the coolest phone ever but um, it's exciting uh, but I'm still really skeptical to this but uh, we can see a quad core smartphone next year very likely um, and if we're gonna see that uh, then probably a lot of other guys is also want to be there in the top in the specs war so it's gonna be interesting in January to see here on CES 2012 um, if we're gonna see a cold core smartphone already be unveiled over there um, yeah a lot of interesting stuff is gonna happen next year see you.